Hi friends, I'm Laura, this is Baker Drinks. Today we're going to talk about Westward Whiskey. This is an American single malt whiskey from Portland, Oregon. We did a distillery tour and tastings, and then I wanna tell you about that, and I also wanna tell you about my experience with these bottles and why I got them. So first of all, I've seen the bottles on the shelves lots of times, and I thought, oh, I don't know if I wanna pay 60, 70, 80, 100 dollars on a bottle that I know nothing about. I am pretty new to single malts in general and even more new to American single malts, so I, I was nervous about buying a bottle. I also didn't know anyone that had tried any of the bottles, so it was kind of a blind experience. We show up, they greeted us. It's a pretty small place. I think we were probably the only people that had a distillery tour that day, so when we showed up, they knew who we were. Um, they gave us a little mini cocktail. I mean, like, little tiny. <laughs> it was cute. It was even had a, um, a little garnish in it, and it tasted very good. I think I got a whiskey sour, and Troy got a old-fashioned, Marionberry Old Fashioned, made from their whiskey, of course. Uh, we sipped those, looked around their little gift shop area, and then we took a tour. This is my first distillery that I've ever been to, so it was, it was fascinating. It's very small. Um, they talked about the grain they used, and being in the Pacific Northwest, it's all locally grown. Um, barley, malted, and they malted in-house. They use the leftovers, they sell them to farmers to feed their animals. They also sell them to places that make dog biscuits out of them. So I think that's interesting that nothing goes to waste. Um, and then they showed us their beer wash, as it's called, but uh, they let us taste it. They do it a little differently than other places. It's a slower process. They use a yeast that takes them four to five days to create their beer wash and then this beer wash is it I mean it tastes like a pale ale they use the same yeast as Sierra Nevada so it's similar to that I, I think <laughs> they gave us a little pour straight from straight from the vat so we could taste it and honestly if they bottled it and sold it I'd probably buy it and drink it it was that good um, they also showed us the distillation process, let us taste it, uh, which was very interesting. I can't, it's, it's crazy how much the flavors change throughout the process. Um, and then they answered any question we could think of. Anything that he wasn't sure the answer to, he went and found someone else to explain it to us. The people there were obviously very interested in their in what they're doing. They seemed very passionate and they were happy to share everything and talk to us and let it, um, and then after the tour, we did a tasting. They gave us their, I believe it was five different, um, different bottles that they had available and they answered questions about it, told us what they thought it tasted like, wanted to know what we thought it tasted like. Uh, they gave us a little, a little stack to have with it. It was like graham crackers and marshmallows and chocolate and hazelnuts, which paired very nicely with the whiskey. And then since we kept asking more questions, they actually pulled out other bottles that are not normally part of the tasting and let us try those bottles. Uh, overall, it was a great experience. The cocktails were very good, so good that we ended up actually buying um, the mixers for the Marionberry Old Fashioned so that we could make it at home as well. Um, and then obviously we liked the bottles enough that we picked up the single malt whiskey cask strength, which is 125 proof. And then I joined their, their club, which releases single barrels finished different ways quarterly. There's no requirement to buy any of the bottles. They let you know ahead of time these bottles are shipping out. If you want to opt out, please opt out. And it's only four times a year, $100 a bottle. And so because I joined that, I also got the uh, single malt whiskey finished in uh, rum casks. And <laughs> what was fun about that, they also, they threw in the rum bottle for the type of rum that it was finished in. So then I can compare the flavors, which I'll be doing with you today, and I can 
I can try to pick out the flavors from the rum in the whiskey and compare it to the regular whiskey. It's just a all altogether fun experience. So I'm going to go over that with you. We'll first start with the cask strength. I know that seems crazy, but it's it's the original flavor. So that's what we'll start with and we'll see how we enjoy it. Uh, I'll give you flavors and ooh, that's a tight one. That's hard to open. It's a beautiful bottle also. It's kind of like diamond shaped at the top. I just think they did a, a great job with everything here. We'll just do a little pour. Um, this is a lot of a lot of drinks to go through, so I don't wanna go crazy with it. Okay, so this is single malt whiskey, cask strength, Oregon. It looks beautiful. It's darker than what you see in um, single malts, like scotches or Irish whiskeys because of the extreme range and temperatures that you get in the Pacific Northwest compared to Ireland or um, Scotland. The whiskey is able to go in and out of the wood quicker and get more flavors out of it than if it were um, in a different place that doesn't have the big swing in temperatures. So this is crazy fruity. It's I mean, it's so good. <laughs> you just keep wanna, you just wanna sit there and smell it and keep going back. I, I'm so excited for where whiskey's going to go. Um, I know there's go that American single malts are just going to take off and be very large and a wider range of flavors. It's very interesting. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is so fruity. I would think this is finished probably straight off the nose. It's kind of tropical and um, mm. let's see how it tastes. Okay, so it first hits the mouth and it's, oh, it's hard to talk. It's making my mouth water. It's tropical. And then it gets into this darker flavor that, um, so it goes from the tropical fruit to like a dark chocolate and even more like a coffee and that just hangs around it it really is like a dessert oh mm. yeah that is that is really good um wow uh, you know, cask strength, it can, it can bring out so much more of the flavors and intensify them. And it, this is what it's really doing. It's, it's very flavorful. You don't need a big sip. It's, it's one you can sit with. Uh, I don't smoke cigars very often, but occasionally, and I think this would hold up well to something like that. Okay. So now I am going to go with the rum. I'm not usually a rum drinker, especially straight, but I'm going to give you what notes I can pick up from it so then I can tell you the differences with the rum finish that we get from the rum, uh, the rum barrel. So this, this is from, let's see, Casa Magdalena Ron Blanco. This is from Guatemala. It says, made from Magdalena cane sugar, harvested by hand in Guatemala, 82.5 proof. It's pretty light, um, so it's probably not aged for a crazy amount of time, but enough that it can get the flavors into the barrel that then can get into the whiskey. Okay, so that, I mean, if I got a pour of that, I'd probably think it was vodka just by the looks. It is light. It is so light. You can barely see any color, especially if you swirl it. There's almost nothing there. There, it's a little floral. I mean, not crazy fruitiness like you get out of some rums. It's very floral is what I would think. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, 
Yeah, kind of like how it smells. Not amazing. Okay, so we have Westward Whiskey, single malt, finished in rum casks. This comes in at 50% alcohol, 100 proof. Again, beautiful bottle. This time it's got a green label instead of a purple label. Either way, they look great. Okay, same thing. This one has a good amount of color to it. The, the tropical fruitiness is actually more muted in this than in the single malt cask strength. You still get a lot of those similar flavors. So you can tell that it's the same whiskey to start with. Let's see how it tastes. So same thing. It starts with the tropical note and then it goes into the dark chocolate and the nuttiness. Uh, and when I say nuttiness, I'm not saying like peanuts that you get out of a lot of bourbons. This is more like a walnut or, um, or even probably a hazelnut. I think that's the flavor I get the most, but it's in the finish with the dark chocolate and the coffee, the bitter. So it starts out sweet and ends in a, a sweet bitter note that's just it just makes you want to keep going back for more to ride that roller coaster but you can get a little bit of that floral note that you get from the rum on the on the, the smell a little bit in the palate but it's not overwhelming it's not like a lot of those um, bourbons that you get that are finished in rum casks where like you don't even know it's a bourbon this you know it's a single malt you know it's westward but then you get those extra little notes in there with it mm. this is a very enjoyable pour i think everything from westward that we tried was enjoyable um i would encourage you to go out and find more american single malts local distilleries tour them talk to them, taste what they have, s explore different things. Maybe you didn't know that you're into rum finished or you didn't know you're into single malts, but you go try them at the distillery and taste what they have, see how crazy different the flavors are from what you normally pick up. Um, I hope you can find one of these bottles. If you do, my favorite by far is the cask strength. Um, so if you like cask strength whiskey, I would suggest that being the one that you pick up, but really you can't go wrong with any of them. Come out to Portland, tour it, try them all, join their whiskey club. I don't care, whatever. <laughs> Just have fun with it. Um, thank you for watching. If you, again, I'm still taking, um, taking comments that I get from people and entering them in to win some samples of the Barrel Proof Elijah Craig and the Barrel Proof Larceny. Um, so any comments on any of my videos will go to that drawing once I hit 250 subscribers. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe as well. Like and comment. Uh, if there's anything you want me to do a review of, I love getting suggestions. I read all my comments, I reply to them. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching. Cheers, have a great day.